the mildness predictor and character method. So we will predict the value and then we will try to correct it also. So in the, as the name just uh, this this uh, clearly says that the values will be predicted and then will be corrected also. So we could we, would, we can find the value of y x zero, y x one, y x two, y x three uh, after some limit uh, after some decimal point. Uh, different methods are available. So generally use our Euler's method or you can uh, say the Rangikota method order 4 basically so now uh, we will calculate f0 x0 y0 from x0 y1 x1 y1 f1 will be calculated similarly x3 y3 will be used to calculate f3 and is, uh, as the predictor value is here so means y4 we can predict from here as, as this one 4 h by 3 means h is basically the interval and all f1 f2 f3 we are already set discuss so we would we will we can find the value of f4 if y4 is known x4 also we can uh, will be given also we can calculate also because the jump is 0 0.5 0 0.1 so one sorry here so uh, we will calculate the value of f4 or y4 you can say again and again unless the character value is unchanged means after that it cannot be corrected that is the basic procedure you can say no so question is using the range kutta method of order 4 y0 is equal to 1 dy by dx is equal to x5 plus y square d y y0 is equal to 1 means y this value is value of x0 so x x0 and uh, is equal to 0 right and so y will be equal to 1 or you can say y0 is equal to 1 as the uh, this x equal to 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 so it is very clear that jump is by 0.1 or you can say a value actually will be equal to 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 or you can say is equal to 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 in this value of h can be calculated then uh, we will try to calculate k1 k2 k3 k4 because that will be used for the this value of k as just by the rk method fourth order so k1 is h f x0 y0 and k2 will be h f f this one x0 plus h by 2 plus y y0 this k1 this one k1 divided by 2 and then uh, this k2 will be used again here then uh, this k3 calculated this k3 will be calculated here so you have to remember all these relations k1 k2 k3 k4 and by by using these k you can calculate now uh, as given y0 equal to 1 mean x0 is equal to 0 so y is equal to 1 or you can say y0 y is equal to 1 or y0 is equal to 1 it are the same thing and that is given dy by dx is equal to this that is the function basically so xy plus y square so whatever the function is there so we can write that dy in place of dy dx as a function so the d xy plus y square is a function so uh, so fx in place of x and y we can write f x naught y naught so that will be x so function will be changed accordingly so f x naught y naught comma y naught will be x naught y naught plus uh, y naught square so this value we will calculate so as as the we know the value of k1 is equal to what as k is equal to hf x naught y naught that is the value x naught y f function of x naught y naught we have calculated by putting the value x naught as 0 means this part is 0 y naught is equal to 1 so answer is 1 it means the value of function at x naught y naught is equal to 1 so accordingly we can put here 1 h is equal to 0 0.1 so answer here is 0 0.1 so k1 is equal to 0 0.1 here that value we will, we will we will use for the finding the value of k2 also so k2 this is that is a function h f f x naught 
प्लस एच नॉट बाई टू वाई नॉट प्लस के वन बाई टू सो हेयर वी विल ट्राई टू सी वट इज वैल्यू फंक्शन हेयर हेयर के वन इक्वल जीरो पॉइंट वन एज वी आर डी कैलकुलेटर एक्स नॉट इज इक्वल जीरो दैट इज गिवन एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू वन वाई नॉट इज इक्वल टू वन दैट इज गिवन आल्सो एंड दैट इज स्टेप इज आल्सो गिवन सो एफ इज इक्वल टू एक्स नॉट एक्स नॉट इज नोन एच इज नोन वाई नॉट इज नोन के वन नोन वट आव ऑल द वैल्यूज अकॉर्डिंगली द फंक्शन दिस दिस वैल्यू कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड सो यू पुट ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ फॉर फंक्शन दिस फंक्शन हेयर सो दैट इज द वैल्यू सो के जीरो पॉइंट फाइव कॉमा वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स दिस इज द वैल्यू वाई सो दैट इज द फंक्शन यू कैन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हेयर वाई हेयर एंड वाई इज के हेयर दैट इज अ फंक्शन देन एंड वट इज इक्वल टू के टू के टू इज इक्वल टू दिस वन एच इज गिवन सो दिस दिस वैल्यू आर बी ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड हेयर अगेन सेम वैल्यू आई एम पुटिंग हेयर सो मल्टीप्लाइड सो के टू विल बी यू यू कैन कैलकुलेट सिमिलरली के थ्री आल्सो सो एच एफ एक्स नॉट इज गिवन एच इज गिवन वाई नॉट इज गिवन के टू बी ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड वी कैन पुट ऑल द वैल्यूज अकॉर्डिंगली फंक्शन वी कैन कैलकुलेट and the function value will be this one that is the value of function this one multiply by h that will be the k3 similarly we will try to calculate the k4 also that k is k4 is h f function of x not plus h y not plus k3 this is k3 we have calculated in the previous slide so k3 we can calculate also k sorry k k4 in this way we can calculate that is the function basically x not plus h x not is given h as 0 h is 0.1 and this y not plus k3 this one k3 so accordingly we can calculate the this value of function this function because f this f can be this one right same thing i will calculate for the function so same value this function value will put put here right so k4 equal to 0.1 multiply function that is the this is the function So 0.1 multiplied by this is a value of k4. Now k4 is known, k2 is known, k1 is known, k2 is known, k3 is known. So all these values we can put that because k is equal to what? 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4. So in this way the value of k will be. So put all the values. 1 by 6 plus this one. So, so k is equal to 0.1169. So, what we briefly you can say, we want to be a calculate the value of k1, k2, k3, k4. Then by using these values, I have calculated the k. X naught is given, h is also given, and y zero also or y k is basically given. In this, we are now calculate the k. So now y naught plus k will be value of y one. So that is this that is y one. So this is basically this value of this one point one one six nine at x one is equal to zero one, right? So one we have one at one value we have calculated. Similarly, we will try to calculate for y zero point two. So now x one is given. Y one now I we I will start from here. Y1 is given that we already calculated. So H is given basically. Function is also given. So we will calculate the value of K1 and K1 is H F X1 Y1 X1 here Y1 here. So by putting the value of X1 Y1, we will calculate the function value. Function value you can put here. So I have written briefly here. So 0.1 into value of function answer is 0.1359. This value of k1, we I will do I will use here. Now here x1 is is already we have calculated written. Y1 also written written here. H written here and k1 calculated here. So that will be the function. So when function is known, you can put all these values. Mean this is this value, x1 plus h2, and y1 plus k1 k1 by 2 in this function. You calculate the value of this one. That is K2. Then K2 you can put here to put the value of K3. Same procedure. 
x1 y1 uh, all the calculated only not only new new entry is k2 so you can calculate the value of function multiply by 0 1 0 0.1 that will be the that will be the answer and similarly now k3 you can put here and you can calculate the value of k4 when all all values k1 k2 k3 k4 known same way again we calculate the value of k 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 that is the answer so y2 will be what y2 will be y1 plus k so so y1 is equal to what written, written here 0 0.1169 here and uh, the value of k we have calculated here so that is the value of y2 and accordingly because y2 this one and uh, x1 we already written 0 0.1 here x2 will be 0 0.2 same way we can go further also and uh, we can calculate value of uh, 2 uh, 0.3 also and we can calculate the value of y3 also function here and accordingly because x2 was 0.2 and jump will be 0.3 so you can calculate you can see that this value uh, accordingly we can calculate because x in on y known so function you can calculate here in this way we will go further and further and by the millions predator vector method now because different values i have calculated i will cal try to calculate the value of y4 here right uh, why 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 not we know we y0 uh, we already know right and this plus 4 h also known k1 we have calculated f2 we have calculated f3 we have calculated you can put the value and so this is the y4 so here now x4 is 0 0.4 and that is the y value so f4 you calculate now what you will do is now that is a character method we will now try to crack the value so what what you will do is now y2 plus h by 3 plus f2 4 f3 4 f3 and f4 this value f4 that we have predicted that we will put here and other values are uh, same uh, we are already calculated so this is the value now so this that is y4 and x4 we know g4 so according putting the value x, x, x and y, x4 and y4 we can calculate the value of function f4 now this again we will try to correct it again we will put this value the same character formula this one we again we again same thing we are this these values are not changing is a constant basically so f4 we can calculate now again we we can put now so unless uh, this value of uh, y4 is constant you can see here now 1.83 here it was not constant 1.8337 that will be again calculated now again when we, we put this value of f4 here right and try to calculate the y4 now you can see 1.8393 and again 1.8393 means that when you put the value of, of uh, this y4 again and again and we see hey now sorry f4 again and again to calculate y4 now y4 constant no need to put further so that is the answer so y4 is equal to 1.8393 so that is uh, at uh, x equal to x, x4 is equal to 0 0.4 because different uh, jump is only 0.1 so that's why x1 was 0.1 then x2 0.2 x3 0.3 and x4 is 0.4 me basically so x4 and this is y4 again you can calculate that what will what will be the final value function that you, could, you can calculate so in brief you can say we are, we are, we are trying to put it the value and then try to again cut and cut it again and again unless it is it the value of is y4 becomes constant that is basically predator character method i have used rk4 method but uh, you can apply the ullers method also it is up to you thank you